Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Several seasons ago, we published a video on how to ripen an avocado overnight. Boy, did we get a lot of response on that, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But in this episode, we're just gonna take you through a test of four different ways to ripen an avocado, and you choose and see whether it really works or not. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today, we're gonna to show you how to ripen an avocado quickly. You know, avocados are so great, whether you just eat them fresh or you're gonna make guacamole, but many times you forget to get them before it's almost too late, and now you're in a panic. We're gonna show you how to ripen them quickly. And uh, to do this, I'm gonna test four different ways uh, that to show you what works. In our previous edition, we told you about my mother's uh, method that she used for years and years and passed on to me. And that was burying the avocado in a tub of flour. And we talk about burying it, we mean completely submerging it. And 24 hours later, the vast majority of the time we had a uh, avocado ready to go, even though when we put it in, it was nice and hard. So uh, we're gonna give that a shot. And then we're also gonna try uh, three other different types. One, just leaving it on the counter. The other one wrapping it in saran wrap or a film a wrap of some kind. And the fourth is a time-honored paper bag with an apple, and we'll hit each one of these. So to get started, uh, what we're gonna do is just show that these are all hard avocados. We went down to our local grocer, bought these, and as you can see, look at my fingernail changing color there. There's one, there's two, nice and hard, three, and there's four. All these are kind of green and hard, ready to go. So let's get these washed up, uh, and then we'll go ahead and label them, and then get ready to do the test. Okay, so we've washed the avocados. I've went ahead and used a metallic Sharpie pen and very quickly labeled these four different ones, one, two, three, and four. So right now, let's look and see what time it is. It's 6 p.m. And let's go ahead and subject these avocados to uh, the different treatments to see what we get in 24 hours. So 24 hours from now, it's 6 p.m. tomorrow night. We'll pull these out and we'll see what we get. So we're gonna take avocado number one and we're just gonna set it aside. It's about, oh, 67, 68 degrees ambient air temperature inside the house here for my international friends. I don't know what that is, Celsius, I'm sorry, but you probably do. Um, or I'll put it in the notes later. So we're just setting this to the side there. And now we're gonna look at the remaining three here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this number two right here, which is still real hard, and we're gonna go ahead and dredge it in the flour. So I'm taking flour over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it down in the flour, and I'm gonna go ahead and cover it so that it is submerged in the flour. Now, all of these types of fruits uh, that we're treating right here, especially avocados, papayas, mangoes, not citrus necessarily, uh, apples, bananas, all produce a plant hormone that's kind of unusual because it's in gaseous form called ethylene. And the ethylene hastens the softening of the tissues. There's a real, how should I say it, lively discussion about whether these are continuing to ripen or not. Let's not get into that. I'm just talking about being able to cut them, their taste, their texture, all that sort of thing. So we've got that one sealed up. Now, let's go to the next time-tested item here. We'll take number four, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in a regular paper bag along just with a standard apple. Apples and bananas are pretty high producing uh, ethylene gas producers. So we're just gonna put this room temperature apple in the bag. We'll move it in with number four. We're gonna go ahead and roll the lid up. There you go, you got the companions in there. Let's go ahead and kind of squeeze the air out of it. And then what I'm gonna do is roll this down really nice. And we're just gonna set it on the counter there and we're gonna see what we get. Now, that leaves number three here. Let's go ahead and continue to dry that off a little bit there. Let's go ahead and take number three. Well, some uh, viewers had written in and said, what about if you put it in rice? Doesn't rice work real well or cornmeal? 
Uh, probably so. The problem with rice is there's more space in between it. It is not fine powder like a meal is or a milled grain like flour. So the theory behind this is, is that you're holding the ethylene gas against the flesh or, uh, of the fruit and therefore it's hastening the softening of it. Well, uh, so we're not going to do rice. But we had several of you that asked, what happens if you just use plastic film? And so we're going to give that a shot and we're just going to do the same thing. We don't know the answer. We're going to find out with you. We're going to go ahead and just take some plastic film, put this dude right in the middle of that. We're going to stretch it really nice and tight. I'm rolling it over. And there we go. There's number three is right in there, ready to go. All right, we're going to set these all on the counter. We'll come back in 24 hours at 6, and we'll let you know the results. We'll see you soon. All right, we're back after that 24 hours, and uh, we're going to reveal which of the three ripening or softening techniques work, depending on whether you think they're just softening or ripening. And then we left our one test avocado out here. But before I reveal the outcome, would you do me a favor? If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, subscribe to our channel. That really helps. And when you do, ring the bell because you'll be notified approximately every Friday of an other video coming out. A great episode for around the home, the kitchen, the garden. And we've got some special new video episodes coming up that'll be released on Tuesdays about every other Tuesday in Maggie's Kitchen as well as the maker next door. All right, let's take a look here and see what we've got here. So what we have is test subject number one. This was simply left out for the last 24 hours, and we're going to go ahead and press that a little bit. And as you can see, we got a little bit of a soft area right there. It's starting to soften just sitting on the counter, but it's still pretty doggone hard, okay? So I'm going to go to the next one, which was our paper bag with our apple that was emitting plenty of ethylene gas. And we're gonna take our next one, which was number four right there. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Really soft in 24 hours. All right, we're gonna leave that one along with the apple because we'll slice that open in a moment. Now let's go to number three, which was just wrapped really well inside of plastic film and it has hardly budged at all. It is still very hard. I'm starting to get a little softness down here, but it's essentially what it was 24 hours ago. And that brings us to the one in the flower that we had actually put out this um, method in an earlier video, and this is a heritage type of approach uh, that my mother used for many, many years. And so here we're gonna go ahead and get this out and let me take that off and rinse it real quick and we'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and dry this. This was test subject number two that just came out of the flower. And let's see what you get there. Look at that, same thing. Okay, so apple in a bag and in Flour are both candidates. Both of these are still very hard. We're going to set them to the side. Actually, we'll do it this way. I'm going to set this to the side because let's go ahead and open these up. Now, something I want to mention in the in disclosure here. We actually came by and squeezed these at 12 hours because if we're saying you can ripen something at uh, overnight, um, that may be construed as just overnight, 12 hours later. Uh, whereas we're saying, what do you get in 24 hours? So both of these uh, had started to soften significantly during that time, but not anywhere to what 12 hours later, a full 24 hours is produced. So we're going to go ahead and open number four, which was in with the apple. Let's see what we get. And look at there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll move these to the back and we're gonna go ahead and try it number with this one also, which was in the flower. All 
All right, let me get a spoon and we'll dish some of this out to see what it looks like. All right, this is our friend from the flower bin. So let's see what we get. Look at that. Really nice. Good flesh color. And I know this isn't scratch and sniff, but I'm going to smell it. Very nice aroma, no funkiness, and it's very creamy. I can just, like, no problem. All right, let's go ahead and clean that off. And let's move over here to the ones that were ripened with the apple. We'll go ahead and, well, look at this. It's just as nice and soft as can be. Again, really nice give. Nice aroma. And I'm going to salt each one of these real quick and then taste them. And I'll let you know whether there's any taste difference. All right, let's use the one with the apple right here. I like a little salt on my avocado. Classic avocado flavor. Wonderful for eating fresh just like this or to make some guacamole with, okay? Well, we're going to go over it. Since these are both going to be my avocados, I'm going to use the same spoon. Let's go ahead and use this. Let's see what we get. Here we go. Wonderful. No uh, strangeness, no different uh, flavor. Just like I said, classic, dependable, great avocado flavor. Well, if you found this to be helpful, be sure you like it. And if you've got some insights on this that you'd like to offer to your fellow viewers, feel free to do so in the comments below. We hope that these techniques really help you. And while you're at it, be sure you check out our new website, same address, dirtfarmerj.com, but great new content, including Maggie's blog, recipes from the kitchen, some extended content, other videos, and a way to interact with us. And coming soon, a new merchandise line where you can wear the brand proudly. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay going to make some guacamole. <laughs>